So many people have called us and asked us, what is the difference between the EB, or external ballast bowl, and the SB, or the self-ballasted bowl? And uh, if I had a penny for how I explained it, I'd probably be a rich man right now. So let's go over this in this video, and we hope this will explain the two differences. The EB bulb, or the external ballasted bulb, requires an electronic ballast to ignite it. Um, it's a true professional bulb. The self-ballasted bulb has a filament inside, just like a regular light bulb does. And uh, this is what we call a hybrid bulb, because it has a filament plus a, uh, a uh, mercury vapor arc tube in it. The metal halide bulb requires such a, um, let's say, sophisticated system of electricity coming to it that they can't make it in a self-ballasted bulb. So all metal halide bulbs will require a ballast. The main difference between the two bulbs is that the self-ballasted bulb with the filament that requires the filament to, in order to ignite the arc tube, uh, being a hybrid bulb, if the filament breaks, the bulb goes out. Not a big deal when you're dealing with a lot of the uh, inexpensive uh, imported um, bulbs that come in, they go out, not a big deal. Um, so many of these bulbs have no ultraviolet after a few months that they go out, they're doing you a favor. The sin is that if the self-ballasted bulb in the Mega Ray version goes out, um, I find it personally a shame because the glass that we use is a hand-blown glass. This glass enables the Mega Ray to deliver proper ultraviolet lighting from startup without a burn-in period because some of these bulbs that, that now are imported require a burn-in period. If they give you good UV, when they start up, they give you so much UV that you can't put them over your animals. You've got to burn them in first. So I, I get phone calls all the time. Bob, how long do I have to burn your bulb in before I use it? This is a mega ray. We spent a tremendous amount of money to be able to give you a bulb that you can screw into the fixture and use. So with the self-ballasted bulb, when they burn out before a year or a year and a half, I mean, I'm hurt because this bulb can give you good UV for an honest 18 months, no doubt about it. But a self-ballasted bulb with the filament very seldom will. How you mount the bulb makes all the difference in the world. And uh, a little bit later on in this video, we're going to show you how I mount them and how long I can get out of the self-ballasted bulb. We have uh, bulbs over both Patrick and over Beaven um, that are three and four years old. It's still producing UV and still lighting up. The EV bulb, without a doubt, especially with the new ballast we have designed, we just went through a tremendous amount of work over the last year to get um, a ballast that will really encompass the name Megaret. Uh, and the ballast is made by a company that makes the same ballast as the Olsen German made ballast. Phenomenal ballast. The EV bulb will, without a doubt, give you good UV and light and stay lit because there's no filament to break. Remember, the filament in the light bulb is what makes the light go out, filament breaks. The EV bulb does not have a filament. Not only that, but the EV bulb allows you to control heat um, in a confined area a lot better. Once you set up the distance properly on an EV bulb, you don't have to worry about raising and lowering it to get proper basking temperatures. So the EV bulb becomes a more of a professional unit. That's where we're going to be able to use the, uh, the halogen bulbs to complement the EV bulbs anyway. So, back to the question. Bob, what's the difference between your EV bulb and your SV bulb? SV, self-ballasted, has a filament, making it a hybrid bulb. The filament breaks, the bulb goes out. All filaments break. Bottom line, that's what makes the household bulbs you use in your house go out. The filament breaks no more light. That's what happens with the self-ballasted bulb. The EV bulb uses a ballast, and as long as you have a solid state electronic ballast, this bulb will give you good UV. I mean, it'll stay lit for years, but after a year and a half, we recommend changing the bulb. Now, if you have a UV meter, you may find you might get good UV for two, two and a half years out of one of these bulbs. We've seen it happen many times. So, to answer the question, EBSB. If you go ahead and mount the SB bulb in a firm location where that filament will last long, 
good solid ball. But if it's going to be shaken around on top of your habitat, that filament's going to break. And you will never get the longevity out of a mercury vapor bulb or out of our mega ray as you should. So the EV bulb is the bulb of choice for most professionals. We hope this finally puts to rest what's the difference, Bob, between your self-balanced bulb and your externally balanced bulb. The externally balanced bulb will always last longer. So choice of use. If you are someone that really wants to look at how long can I get good UV for out of my bulb without it going out, the EV bulb is the bulb of choice. If you need a screw-in bulb that will work for you, screw it in, it goes on, it works, the SP bulb will do a great job. But remember, the SP bulb will never last as long as an EV. We hope that finally answers the question. Thanks and have a great night.